So I'm gonna steam some recurves into this stave just to make the sinew work a little harder. Um, it's got a gradual taper. So I should be able to just recurve it the old school way. Just step on it and try to match them out. Uh, the wood is still fairly green. It's 12, 15%. Uh, I don't think that's too dry for it to crack. When it's very green, it bends like rubber. When it's very dry, it cracks. This is the setup. Just a tray of water. Wait for it to boil. And then put this on for maybe 10 minutes. Should do it. See if this is ready yet. You'll know. Not yet. It's been on about 10 minutes. I'm gonna give it a few more. All right, I'm gonna see if this is ready yet. It's been about 18 minutes. It is a bit drier than I'd like. Definitely going to be careful here and just make a pretty gradual recurve. Nothing too extreme. Just get the shape right and hold it until it cools. It's about five, ten minutes like this. So this wood, even though it was only split out uh, three weeks ago, um, it's already pretty dry in our uh, northern desert here. It's been about 14% relative humidity uh, the last couple few weeks, not much rain. So it dried out quick. Uh, I didn't put too much, too much recurve into it yet, but it looks pretty even. So I'm going to keep on reducing it a bit more. Get it down to uh, kind of a floor tiller before I back it. Maintain a bit of a lenticular cross section again. And just keep going slow until uh, you get close to your finished size. This is a pyramid design, by the way. It's going to be widest right about here and taper to the tips with a tapered handle. Right now, just trying to get this to match.
Not quite right. 